The endocrine system has really powerful effects and it essentially controls your appetite. So it does affect your ability to do weight maintenance and weight loss plans. The major controller of the appetite in our body is the hypothalamus. You can see the little red spot there in the middle of that circulating skull. That is the hypothalamus. The satiety center uh, is in the ventral lateral nucleus of the hypothalamus, and the hunger center is in the lateral hypothalamus. Um, both of these are going to control essentially how much we feel the need to eat. The short-term regulation of hunger and satiety is largely going to be driven by blood concentration of nutrients, think amino acids, blood glucose, lipids, cholesterol, that kind of thing. And this is also going to have feedback by hormones released by the gastrointestinal tract and adipocytes, so which are fat cells. Those tissues are going to release hormones that are going to impact our satiety and hunger centers. There are various hormones being released by the gastrointestinal tract that are going to feed back on that hypothalamus, controlling the appetite and satiety centers, or at least influencing them. These hormones tend to have a, a short-term effect on appetites. Uh, one of those hormones is cholecystokinin, or CCK. It's going, to, it's going to increase when the stomach is full, and it's going to be released by the small intestine. This suppresses the appetite. So all these ones in red are, are going to suppress the appetite. We also release glucagon-like peptide 1 or GPL1, which re is released by the small and large intestine. We release peptide YY or PYY, uh, released by the small and large intestine as well. And we release insulin from the pancreas. All of these are going to suppress your appetite. We also release grenulin, which is going to increase our appetite. So it's the only one listed here that's going to increase appetite. Grenulin is going to be released by the stomach and the pancreas when the stomach is empty. These are all short-term acting hormones. We do have a feedback method that is a little more long-term in its action, and that is our leptin uh, release, so the hormone leptin. It is released by body fat in proportion to how much body fat our bodies have. So the more body fat you have, the more leptin release you're going to have, and leptin is an appetite suppressant. Granulin and leptin are often sort of opposing molecules uh, that are going to oppose each other in controlling our appetite. Remember, granulin increases it and leptin suppresses it. If you have uh, leptin inhibition, well, you can see an example here in this uh, mouse model. This is the normal mouse. This is a mouse that has leptin inhibition, and it is much, much larger. It promotes uh, eating because it is going to, uh, when you have leptin, it's going to suppress the appetite. So when you don't have leptin, it's not going to suppress the appetite, and you're going to feel hungry, and you're going to eat a lot more. Changes in leptin happen very slowly because changes in body fat happen very slowly, and this is what makes it really good for controlling appetite appetite on a long-term basis. Endocrine hormones don't just control our ability to gain or lose uh, body fat, it also controls our ability to gain or lose muscle mass. So I'm going to be talking about our, our endocrine control of muscle mass in a separate video.